guess where I am? You know, just just have a guess. Have a guess. Um, I well, I'll start off by telling you I'm in a pretty bad mood. I've had a bit of crappy afternoon, so Stalk Vader is not best pleased. Um, yeah, no, I thought I'd come up because it's a nice day, and I mean, it's an, another interesting place to do something for my London logs. Um, wow, there's a load of people around here. Bloody hell. It's like it's so many tourists, it's insane. It's great. <laughs> people of all nationalities here. Anyway, that's what I wanted to talk about. Um, I'm talking again about, um, oh, first of all, say no to like that portrait style phones because it's wrong. Um, anyway, yeah, so what I'm wanting to talk about really is, I mean, I thought I'd choose this place, A, because it's sort of on my way home kind of thing, but also B, because um, obviously sitting in uh, Westminster, this is Westminster, in case no one knows, that's Big Ben in the background there, um, and the Houses of Parliament over there, and there's Westminster Abbey is over that sort of direction. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, yeah, it's up there, Westminster Abbey. Um, so, there's all this kind of stuff going on. And the Houses of Parliament here are where... I hope you can hear me okay, by the way. I'm on my camera phone here because I forgot to bring my camcorder. Another reason I'm pissed off. Um, but yeah, there's... This is where all of our politics are done. <laughs> That's what I'm going to talk about anyway. All of our politics are done here. Um, you know, the, all of the... You know, like, the Prime Minister works here, the... Um, uh, other members of parliament and all that sort of thing and um, yeah I basically wanted I don't really know very much about politics I never studied it I know lots of people have um, and basically you know if I have a, some sort of opinion on uh, on politics of any kind I mean it's really going to be a layman's opinion I don't really follow very much and all that kind of stuff so um, yeah don't worry uh, is basically what I'm saying wow there's a lot of people um, they're all crowding around. What the fuck's going on? Yes, me too, mate. Um, anyway, so I wanted to basically just have a have a go at politics in general, really, because obviously, I mean, politics. I've got to say, is just one of my least favourite things. I don't follow it because it, it really does. A, it can be a bit boring at times, but B, the main reason actually is because it's just so utterly utterly bullshit quite a lot of the time. It's just dick waving, it's dick measuring. You've got all these parties competing, three main, well, two main parties in the UK with a couple of fringe parties, one of whom managed to get elected a couple of years ago. And, um, and quite frankly, it just pisses me off. It's one of these things, it happens everywhere. I mean, politics these days is just this big game. It's just a big a dick waving game where people lie and scheme and try and do as much as they possibly can to benefit the few. Oh, ding dong. What time is it? Half past five. Half past five. Until I've just come from work. Huh? Um, it's just one of those things, yeah, politics. Is, that's what it seems like anyway. I mean, there's, <laughs> there's a guy who just did a wheelie on his motorbike. That was cool. Um, but no, I mean, there's a lot, obviously, it's how the country's run. So obviously there's a lot that's done that is legitimate and look we're a pretty successful country I mean there's we've got our problems but the UK is not a bad country um, so it's all done relatively successfully but I just think what why do people have to be dicks is basically the premise of my argument why do people have to go into Parliament if, if, if anyone has ever seen a debate let's call it a debate in Parliament in the House of, I think it's the House of Commons or the House of Lords, I don't know. It's basically, they, they all sit one, uh, one set of people opposing the other set of people. So immediately you've got friction, you've got animosity, you've got our side's bigger than yours, whose army did you bring, that sort of thing. And it's one of these things where, you know, you've got this bunch of people, these are people running the country, grown men. Let me just check I'm still recording. Yeah, I'm still recording. These are grown men running the country who are sitting in these offices, well, not an office really, sitting in this debating hall, as it were, and they discuss things. Sounds fine, doesn't it? 
But they act like fucking children. They really do. Excuse my friends, but they act like complete kids. It's just absolutely ludicrous. They... One person will make a point, and all of the people behind them will go, yeah, yeah, and leer, and cheer, and jest, and all that sort of thing. Sort of, you know, oh, yeah, you know, looking burly and trying to make themselves look all big, and as if they've got a good point through sort of crowd-pleasing kind of thing. And then the, the opposite side, if anything is said that the opposite side doesn't like, by and large, all they will do is go boo and then just laugh in derision at the other side. And it's just, who does that? This is not an adult argument. You know, a point, you may, you may disagree with something, fine. Then wait your fucking turn. And there's, there's a person, is it called the speaker? They act like a judge, basically. They sit up at the end and they're supposed to keep everything in order. Every 10 minutes of booing and jeering, they'll go, order, order, this is quite enough, this is quite enough. Get paid through the fucking nose for it. And they do nothing, they just sit there, and it's always like a bunch of apes or children just fucking around and arguing about nothing. I'm surprised anything is ever done or ever passed. Anyway, that's not what I'm needing to talk about. Why is there someone right behind me? You know, there's so much space in this square. Look how empty it is. There's some fucker right behind me. Anyway, there's people watching as well, doesn't matter. So, anyway, that helped me calm down. I'm liking chilling out here. So, anyway, that's, that's the general gist. I've been to, I think it was in, Ger yeah, it was in Germany. I can't remember where. Was it in Cologne, maybe? I went and visited the parliamentary buildings there. And they've got it right. They've got it absolutely right. Everyone sits in a circle. There's no one against anyone. No one is in charge. No one is leading. It's all in a circle. It's like a community. You've got to listen to everyone else. You've got to make judgments based on what everyone has to say. So everyone is considered, and that's how it should be. I think it's an outdated system. It's an absolute surface with just people, people doing what they do. I'm probably going to get a photo bomb in a minute, so apologies if I do. Um, so anyway, oh, calm down, Steve. So that's that's my problem with with the way it's set up. And um, then you've got you've got politics in general. Then haven't you really? You know, there's people are. I mean, obviously it's jobs. People are in it for careers. And people are in it for progressing. They see it almost as a business or as a company, an organisation, their party, their political party. You know, it's all run by money. It's all run by um, all this kind of thing. And I don't want to be one of these people who says fuck the system because all the everything's run by money. It's all corrupt. It's not all corrupt, and it's not all run by money. There are there are good intentions, but they're not bloody that huge. Sorry, Ad. Money does seem to. Get. Sorry, there's a guy taking his top off. Um, money does seem to run quite a lot of stuff. And yes, cuts have to be made and budgets have to be met and achieved and all that sort of thing. But quite frankly, there's just so much that I would change. Like I say, I don't know anything about politics really, but just from the little bit I've seen, there is so much I would change and I just wish I could. I hate going in to vote. I mean, I, I believe that everyone should vote. If you've got the right to vote, go and fucking vote you know your your if you live in the UK your grandparents or parents or whatever fought in World War two to defend the right to vote essentially because they didn't want the Nazis coming to invade and take it away and you know us become a dictatorship so we've got democracy because of our ancestors so we therefore should honor that by going and voting if you don't like any of the parties and you don't know who to vote for go in write down I'm not voting for anyone, just cross everything off the slip. That's all you need. There's someone laughing at me because I'm ranting. Um, anyway, yeah, so th that's what you should do. That is what you should do. Um, and then, it, then, then, it's, then it's done, then it's doable. The main, seriously, amazing on no personal space <laughs> issues, it's hilarious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and she recognised me. Oh, who knows? My hair, okay. Um, yeah. It's one of these things, I don't even know what I was talking about now. I've lost it. People are laughing at me. <laughs> I'm a clown. Just like the people in Parliament. Yeah, go and vote. Go and hand in your, uh, spoil your ballot paper, whatever. You need to vote. Anyway, when I'm going to vote for someone, I choose based entirely on their policies. Entirely on their policies. Because lots of people vote for the person they think is you know, least like a sleaze bag. Yes, there are so many of them. But, you know, some people vote on, well, my family always voted Labour, I have no fucking idea what they do, but 
I'm going to vote for them. Or, oh, I'm going to vote for the Lib Dems because I like him, I like the leader more than the other leaders. It's like an entire party is who's going to be running the country. You want to vote? Use your vote based on what someone looks like? No. What you've got to do, you go on a, I mean, there are websites that do this. It's called something like Vote for Policies or something like that. And you go on and you, 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 you know, it just gives you a list of all these different policies and you say which ones are most important to you, say which ones you agree with, all that kind of thing. And then once you've done that, you, it, it tells you which party is most like the one that you've chosen the policies for. So say I voted all of these different things about the environment and uh, lax immigration or something like that, you know, and then it'll tell me, oh, you've voted for, uh, let's say, the Green Party. Let's just, you know, you, you do all of that and then you think, okay, well, sod all of the ideas on whether I think they're good or not. Sod the ideas of what the media, don't get me started on the fucking media, what the media builds them up to be, vote on their policies. That is what they're going to do when they get into government, vote on the policies. It's so simple. And then people vote and then complain when there are massive cuts. It's like, okay, well, you just voted the Conservatives in. They were planning on cutting a load of stuff anyway yet you voted because you didn't like Labour's candidate. Yeah, uh, and because, oh, they've been in for four years or two years or whatever and they've not done anything or they've ruined this. It's like, well, right, big picture, think about it. Don't just vote rationally. That's why democracy needs to get better. Anyway, that's up to people. I'm very anti-people today. <laughs> Calm down, Steve. This is good, actually. This is therapeutic. I don't know if you can hear anything I'm saying. I'm just talking. Um, because there's wind and there's traffic, so apologies if this ends up being shit, but it's therapeutic for me. Um, is there anything else I need to talk about in terms of politics? I don't think so, really. I know there's, there's, there's different things all around the world, and I've got to say, you know, I complain. I am lucky in, in a sense, you know, you look at what's going on in Egypt, you look at what was going on in Iraq, these dictatorships or fascist regimes that are uh, dominating everything, you know, democracy is definitely the way forward, and it's it's a shame that not everyone has it, if that makes sense. I mean, that's the most obvious, blatant thing anyone has ever said in their life. But uh, anyway, anyway, that's pretty much me on politics. And I thought I'd come here, you know, to the Houses of Parliament to discuss all of this. And wow, I've said all of this without many ums or ahs or s stops or breaks or pauses or anything. So you can tell I'm actually interested in this kind of thing sometimes. Anyway, I'll probably leave you now because I'm getting quite tired and I've got to go and meet Sparrow so ha um, but and of course everyone's looking at me lol um, but anyway yeah let's let's leave it on a high note shall we you know politics be damned politics aside oh my god I need to talk about I'll talk about that when I do the trains I need to do the public transport system and I'll do that I need to talk about HS2 if you don't know what it is look it up HS2 Ugh. anyway have a look around oh yeah you can see nicely um, so yeah, that's Westminster Abbey. That's where shit happens. I don't know, like big, like the Queen does stuff there sometimes probably. Weddings, like big royal weddings. Was that held there? Oh no, that's not Westminster. That's St. Margaret's Church. Maybe, oh no, that's just here. Okay, I didn't realize this was a different building. Just behind it there, if you look through there, that's Westminster Abbey. You can see the top, top of it there. Anyway, so that's that. Oh, and if we skip around here, I think these are all the Houses of Parliament and the House of Commons and all that sort of thing. And there's, there's old Big Ben up there. You heard him chime earlier. And then there's lots of people all taking photos in the sun. It's a lovely day. I don't know what that is. It's something. St. Stefan's Tavern. Yeah, it's not all St. Stefan's Tavern, is it? And then you go all the way around a little bit further and back at a girl taking a photo. Brilliant. So, beautiful, beautiful day. Anyway, so, I will probably leave you there. It's, um, it's been nice talking to you. And uh, I actually do feel a lot better. I needed to rant. And uh, now I'm going to go and have a nice drink with Sparrow, and then tomorrow we're going to Thorpe Park. So expect a vlog on Thorpe Park. I'll try and I'll see if I can sneak my camcorder onto a ride. I mean that's very naughty, but I'll see if I can. I might not want to. Anyway, whatever. Take care, everyone. Thanks for watching. See you next time in London. Bye.